Where's this shine? Heck no. That'll do. We shot a dead eye from it. It's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't oh. read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deal. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? I was what you about to guess. Is that what it means? Fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could, could you do that? Hmm? Are you cooking, Pete? I'm out of hiding now, horse. Morning. Because it is morning. But if you think you can come back here, huh? I'm a different man, sir. A good man. Hey, man, Bally, I'm good. So, welcome to our humble police house. Uh, what can uh, I chief? do for you? I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine an electric chair and he uh wants to demonstrate his invention here ah i'm familiar with the man and his work tell you what i'll give you a permit but it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars in fees 
Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. Hmm. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatcher. Mm -hmm. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. That was not a fair price, but uh, at least the permit was uh, fast. How are you? You're doing a great job. Huh. Seems to be having fun. Magic show. You okay, buddy? Oh. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me, please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shall the hot poker up the ice. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of uh, European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No. <laughs> no, he says. No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. So yes. You meet him, Professor Marco Dragic. R.C. <laughs> Both. Silver tongue American betray, and not pay the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, big nuts. It is demonstration of my genius, of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> Wait, nice. I cannot see. And still, the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> ladies, <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> Enchanté. <laughs> uh, hello. Hello, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. Demonstration of my <laughs> infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. Oh. But maybe I can make you immortal. Maybe. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see, I will power this. You're boat. a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon, dressed up like a buffoon, is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. Well, I, I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? Oh. So, Professor, show us your magical toy boat. <laughs> Only this time let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Don't touch that. Use these ones to steer and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now now blow up the little battleships and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the boat. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, Imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey, it's doing what I'm telling you. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. Oh. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves in the air. 
This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And there's a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. Torpedoes do not have so much range. I am an invisible wave engineer, not a rocket physicist. <laughs> gone too. You see what stupid man does? Another one down. <laughs> I'm getting the mastery of this. Show them one more to prove. There. I'm gone for you. <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now, bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. The, the, the demonstration's not over yet. Any fool can explore the sitting dock. All right. Let me just reload. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. gonna... Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond, still avoiding magnetic mines. No, he'll pretend to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. They're tricky little fellas. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course, but what a thing to fund! What an opportunity! No one is stupid enough to pass this up. Not even dim with here. Hey, you really ought to work on your salesmanship. Look who rules the seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. That's it. Foolproof. Undeniably foolproof. But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. And was this not difficult? It was difficult, but it was not difficult for me. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab. Back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. <laughs> it is immortality, sir. It is, it is very <laughs> cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm going to go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Oh boy. Um, and I hope you will forgive my European course. In the Balkan, we are a matter of a few bucks to work on. This guy's still here. Hey there! What are you up to? Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. And this fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniel. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and 
Immoral animal husbandry. What's oh. that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Huh. Not done yet. McDaniel. Best guess is that uh, he's somewhere where it says enemy. That's my guess. Start down there, you know. Actually, oh no, you don't. Not very good at running. All right, shit, you got me. I'll come with you, you son of a bitch. Come on, well, I got a special treat for you. You can stay in there for now. Find on the ground. Nice meeting you. You shouldn't be able to wiggle away, but just in case, I'll take him along for the ride. We're going for a walk. Let's go. Take me to day of court, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Married them for me to marry them. Or killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. It's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. What? You came along and laid waste. Take me in. Just take me to the jailhouse. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This It'll be fried in chair. Andrew Bell the third, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this day a professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you. You mean? <clears throat> no. Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. 
got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's a professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. No. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, got a permit. They would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? You ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniel? I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared, and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. You know, there must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned. Half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, <laughs> I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no sir. It was lightning. The electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I see lightning do. But, you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs> yeah, we'll do. Long range shotgun. Uh, horse isn't doing too good. Sure did something. Oof. Pump action shotgun has been uh, a good investment so far. Guess we're dying, sure. Easy there, girl. Hit the dude a bit. Well, here we are. The professor will be real pleased to meet you. It's for science, it's fine. Here, I got him. You're Come on, <sighs> don't be shy now. Let's go. Bring him to me. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, 
Once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our... our, um... Our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. All right, disarm him. Come on now, you coward. We gonna talk Howdy. about what you've done to Mister. my wife. How you do, ma'am? Hello. You're a dead man. <laughs> devil are you? As far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here. But this cab. I said get out of here. This is an outrage. <laughs> I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, no? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Uh. Uh.